To start the disassembly of your iPhone 4S, you will need a 5 star screwdriver. You will remove the two screws on the bottom of your iPhone 4S. Once again, this is a special 5 star screwdriver, and we do carry it at InjuredGadgets.com. Once you have these two screws removed, you are going to be able to remove the back quite easily. To remove the back, just slide it up, and it slides and pops right off. With the back cover now removed, you are going to use a Phillips screwdriver and remove two screws covering your dock connector flex cable. These two screws hold in a bracket, and once you remove these two screws, this back bracket will come off and you will just put it to the side. Next, using your fingers or a safe pry tool, remove the dock flex connector from the board. It is secured with some adhesive, so you will need to remove that as well. Next, using your Phillips screwdriver, you will remove the two screws covering the battery terminal connector. These two screws do hold a little black static shield right there. You will go ahead and once you remove those two screws, put that shield on the side because it is needed later on to put back into the phone for reassembly. With these screws removed, use a safe pry tool and you will be able to just pop the battery terminal connector up. Next, using the little pull tab against the battery, pull towards the battery and the battery will pop off. Be careful because it is secured by some adhesive, so it is on there pretty tight. You might have to use your fingers to pull it actually out. Next, using your Phillips screwdriver, you are going to remove the two screws holding the uh, buzzer ringer speaker in. One is to the left, one is to the right. Next, to actually pull out the buzzer ringer speaker module, you will use a safe pry tool and disconnect the little antenna cable held into place. It does wrap around, so once you disconnect it, you will wrap it around the sides and carefully pull out that buzzer ringer speaker. You will notice a little triangle shaped object will come out. That actually goes over the left screw, so make sure you keep it as it goes over the left screw on that side of the buzzer ringer speaker. Once again, using your Phillips screwdriver, you are actually going to remove five screws on the top which hold the static shield in. They are one, two, three, four, five. Now you're actually going to remove that shield. It is held into place by a couple of brackets. So you're going to, you are going to want to pull it up and then pull it to the right and it will wiggle and pry right off. Once this bracket is removed, you are going to notice all of your flex cables. You are going to have to go ahead and pop these flex cables off with a safe pry tool. Please note that under the bottom cable there is another flex cable under it. You will need to pop that off as well. In addition to that is the camera flex cable. Once you remove the camera flex cable, the camera will actually pop right off and you can put that to the side. Next, using a flathead screwdriver, you will remove the screw at the bottom of the logic board. Once again, you need a flathead screwdriver because a mini Phillips will no longer work right for that one. 
Using your Phillips screwdriver, there is a screw right above, right above the vibrator module. You will remove that screw as well. In addition to that, there is another screw at the very middle of your logic board. You will remove that screw with your Phillips screwdriver. Next, you will notice that a flex cable is on top of the actual audio jack where your microphone plugs in. It is secured by adhesive, so you will need to pry it gently as to not tear the flex cable, but it will come off. Once that is removed, you will notice an L-shaped connector. You will remove that L-shaped connector, and below it, you will see a flathead screw. Go ahead and use your flathead screwdriver again to remove that screw. Once the screw is removed, you will use your Phillips screwdriver once again and remove another screw which was right next to the camera module. At this point, you will now want to use a SIM ejector tool and go ahead and remove your SIM card tray from the actual phone. We carry these SIM ejector tools at InjuredGadgets.com. With the SIM card tray now removed, your logic board is free to be wiggled around. Be careful, there is still a screw on the right side of the midframe. You will need to remove that screw before the logic board can be completely released. With the logic board now removed, you will remove, want to remove six screws, three on each side of the midframe, as well as four screws, one on each of the four cor corners of your iPhone 4S. One of these screws is blocked by the actual vibrator module. You will use a safe pry tool to remove that module. Now be careful because sometimes you will notice a little gold shield. This gold shield goes over the screw bracket on the top left side, right next to where the camera is. So if that pops out, just put it back. Another tip I want to suggest is instead of removing the three screws, six all together on each side, go ahead and just loosen them about a half of a turn. Because once the frame is actually loosened up, your digitizer LCD assembly will actually pop right out without you having to remove the six screws completely. The four screws, one on each corner, these four actually will have to be removed the entire way. Now you are going to notice that the very left hand side screw is covered by a little black sticker. You are going to need to remove this sticker either with tweezers or a flathead screwdriver, but it will uncover the final screw that holds the frame into place. Next, using a safe open pry tool, you are going to start prying from the sides of the phone all of the way around it. You will want to go all the way around it, but please note there is adhesive holding your phone screen front assembly in place. So be careful, but you will need to use a little bit of force to actually remove the front screen assembly. Please visit InjuredGadgets.com for all your replacement parts and full service repairs. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.